I'm Mikkel Abigail of Big Surgeon from Sydney, Australia. I am performing today an anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction using all inside technique. I don't inflate the tourniquet until I prepare the graft. For the graft preparation, I need two tight ropes, one on each end of the graft preparation station. This is an allograft, most likely to be alice posterior tendon. What I use is a straight needle fiber loop, but you can use any kind of suture. You also need three or monocle, marking pen, and a few other instruments to hold the graft. After filling the graft, I trim it to the desirable size for the implantation. Ideally, the graft size should be 10 to 11 millimeters in diameter in a male. I remove one third of the proximal part of the graft and that should give us the desirable size. Positioning the graft in the tight rope is very important. The tight rope is prepared where I can lengthen the arms of the tight rope from each side. Each arm should be separated. It's very important not to make a mistake where we put the tight rope in this position as this will prevent the tension. They need to be careful when you apply it. This is the correct position. The allograft tendon is passed from top to bottom and on average I leave six and a half to seven centimeter of length and I clip it from the bottom upward and then from the top downward again. The two internal parts meet each other in the middle. I use an artery clamp to hold it together. I utilize a white fiber loop suture to suture it together. I measure a distance of around two and a half centimeter from the tip where I insert my fiber loop suture. I do the internal two at the beginning, I pass the thread in the middle and I proceed from out in with one go. By doing this we secure the internal part of the suture together. This is the third go. I then tension the station to the desirable length. Now make sure that all the parts are tensioned to the desirable length equally. I then divide the fiber loop suture in half. This is the desirable tension that I wanted. I exit through the external part from one end in the middle and put tension on that place. And I exit from the other side with the other arm. I tie these two limbs together. This forms the apex of the graph. I tie it to the station and then tension the overall station. You can see the graph is uniform. I then utilize the clear monocle to oversaw the outer to the inner part of the tendon. You can go to the proximal half and then you can return back from the other side. You don't need to go all the way down to the bottom. We finished the 3 monocle at the same end that we started. You can see this graft preparation technique involves covering the tendon completely without any abrasive suture showing. Only the monocle is on view and it's very smooth. I mark the graft length and it's measuring 7.5 so I take into consideration the depth of my tunnel. I measure 2.5 from one end and 2.5 from the other end. Sizing the graph, this looks like around 10. This is very good size. We finish preparing the graph and we leave it with antibiotic impregnated saline gold.